Hi everyone, welcome back for another tutorial. In this tutorial I want to show you how to set up for the first time your Wacom tablet to work with Photoshop. Uh, I'm going to be using a bamboo uh, and it has four express keys uh, and it's a very very cool tablet and uh, for a very very good price. So, the first thing I want to do is I'm going to my bamboo preferences and this is by default what you get you may not get this battery because I've got the wireless kit uh, so if you don't see that that's not a problem whatsoever so obviously when you're setting up your tablet you need to tell Wacom uh, if you are left-handed or right-handed in my case I'm right-handed so this is what I've got here so these are the express keys so by default we've got click but if we click here we have many many other options and uh, for my workflow it works really well if I'll go to modifier and use alt and I'm going to tell you why the alt key in here so alt I'll click OK so this moment in time uh, my bottom express key is the alt so now let's go to the next one so next one I'm going to modifier and for me it works really well having the shift and I'll click OK and obviously I'm going to show you the reason why and now the next one I'm going to modifier and I'm going for control and I'll click OK and now over here on the last one I'm going to actually use a keystroke so what, what is a keystroke basically keystroke is like a shortcut key so I'm going to click keystroke and as you can see we have keys so all I have to do is press my keys so in my case I want to stamp merge visible so in this case control alt shift E and as soon as I let go we get right here what I pressed and I'm going to name stamp layer and I'll click OK right very simple very easy now we have the pen by default it has right click on the top button right here where I've got my mouse and we have pen and scroll but obviously all of that can be changed uh, but I like it as it is because it, it works really well for me then we have touch options and that's a big no-no for me I'm sorry it doesn't work is it I don't know what's happening oh there you go it's off and I'm ready to go so I've been using my mouse now I'm going to be using my tablet and as you can see I'm just moving around so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to just create a new layer and bear in mind this is not a tutorial about Photoshop it's how I work with my tablet while using Photoshop so let's go for the first option which is the old key so if I'm painting something so let's say I've got my brush key if I hold the old key I get to sample the color and as you can see it's right here on my on my foreground so I'll come here I can sample holding alt so this is a use why I like the old key also is while using the clone stamp tool I can come here, alt click and then just brush away and I'm sampling the area using the alt and the same goes with the healing brush I've got my alt key that I can select so let's go over here just as an example I'm pressing alt, I'll click to sample and now I can just brush away what I want obviously the best thing is to change to current and below so there you go and as you can see works really really well so these are a few of the uses I've got so another another thing we have is uh, the shift so let's say for some reason uh, I want to, I've got my paintbrush and I'm going to just make it smaller and let's say for some reason I want to draw a straight line so if I click once in here and I hold shift and I'll click it just get, gives me a straight line so that's a great way to do it another 
another great use for the shift is let's say I want to select these three layers so having the top one selected come to the last one holding shift I'll click and now still holding shift I can add to a group so this is a great use for the for the shift key along there are a lot more but I'm just giving you the basic idea so you have an idea why it works for me so what about control uh, let's say I'm working with a pen tool for, like so if I hold control I can actually come here and move my points around if I use the alt key I can change direction and holding alt control sorry I can move it around and I can twist it and basically it's a great a great use for the look I've done a nice heart <laughs> but as you can see it's one of those things that the combined with control and alt works really well so why control so on my work path if I hold control and click it loads that as a selection also let's create a mask based on that the channel also if I use this image on my channels this is just a mere example and I want to load the luminosity of the channel I can just go and click on the thumbnail holding control and loads the luminosity as you can see the marching ants let's deselect another great use is let's say for some reason I'm just going to create a new layer and uh, let's create a shape and I'm just going for something really funky I'll just go with this and I'll go like this bear in mind this is not to show you how to work with tools it's just to work to show you the advantage of having the express keys so I'm going to double click that and I'm going to change the color to white or new white uh, yeah I'll go for white okay so we've got that let's say for, for some reason we want to rasterize the layer and as you may remember on the pen I can right click on the top button and I've got the options so in this case rasterize the layer so it's a great use for the right key on the on the pen and uh, let's give you another example on the control let's load this shape as a selection so holding control click have this as a selection and let's say just for the sake of it now I can add a layer mask and this is what we got let's inverse and see how, we, how it looks and it looks quite cool not really but well another great use for the shift is if I want to disable the layer mask I'm going to hold shift and click and disable the layer mask so as you can see great uses um, so let's say I'm happy with this result something like this and as you may remember on my last express key I created a merge stamp visible so all I have to do instead of going th through the keyboard holding control shift alt e I can just one click on my express key and I created a merged version of all those layers combined as you can see right here which is great <coughs> but I don't want that I'm just going to get rid of it because it doesn't look right but obviously this is just to give an example okay let's use a few more uh, make the most of it of this express key so I'm going to hold the pen button which is the first button or the bottom button on the pen and as you can see it changes to the hand tool if I hold alt at the same time and I drag from side to side so to the right it zooms in to the left it zooms out I let go S still holding the button now I can just move around and I can do my work and I can see there's a spot here so I can just come here and use spot healing and as you can see it's a bit small compared to the to the spot itself so if I hold alt and right click on my pen I can actually drag 
to make it bigger to the right, make it smaller to the left, up to make it smaller, softer, sorry, so like so, and as you can see, big, soft, bring it down and it's hard, up is soft, to the left, so, uh, smaller and bigger. So now it's a bit too big, but as you can see, it's not taking over the full size of the of the diameter of the preview of the brush we've got here. And all down it's to the advantages of let's click sample of layers to the advantages of um, working with a pen tablet. So let's go to the clone stem tool. I'm holding the pen button and let's start cleaning up this area. So by default you should by now have everything set so I'm just going alt click and I got rid of that bit on the water and as you can see right here on the top or you can go to window and you can go to brush we have the a window right here so to control your shape dynamics uh, you set that to pen pressure so basically it's the size how much the harder you press the more the bit the bigger the brush up to the diameter of the preview you see and you also have the transfer the transfer basically it's down to the opacity of the brush so at the moment is off I checked clicked and now I can go and select pen pressure and as you can see a very quick tutorial on how to set up for the first time your Wacom tablet and uh, this express keys work for me they may not work for you so all you have to do is just come to Wacom preferences and uh, you can change at any time so let's say your sh the shift didn't work for you you can come here and add clicks like right click middle click whatever and many many more I hope uh, this was helpful for you. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.